Hi, and welcome back to Terminology Tuesday. This week is National Invasive Species Awareness Week. So I wanted to begin the discussion about what an invasive species is, why they're so harmful to us and to our ecosystems, and what you can do to help out. I am standing in this monoculture of invasive kogan grass, Imperata cylindrica, as a great example of what happens when invasive species spread unchecked. So defining what plants are or are not invasive can be confusing to say the least. But in the most simple terms, an invasive plant is a non-native plant introduced to an ecosystem it didn't evolve in and it is now spreading unchecked and causing harm to that ecosystem. That's the basic kind of simple definition about what an invasive plant is. So invasive species are not inherently bad. They had critical roles that they performed and filled in the ecosystems they evolved in. But once they've been removed from that context that gave them those roles, they no longer have the checks and balances or are able to provide the services that they did in the ecosystems they were evolved in because they'd have no, none of those re existing relationships with other community members. And so they begin to spread unchecked often because they don't have any other of the species that kept them in check, that evolved to keep them in check. And then that creates a whole lot of harm. So as we've learned in previous episodes, ecosystems are delicately balanced communities that provide us with goods and services that are essential to our health, our wealth, our happiness, and our very existence and survival. So when the disruption of, of invasive species throws off that balance, it has a direct harmful effect on us as humans. Next week, we will go into specifically how that harm is caused by invasive species and why they're so threatening to both us and wildlife.